And when I was in jail for them four or five years, six years, I was in there waking niggas up. Anybody go went and been to jail with me going to tell you the same thing? Like, yeah, that's what he was known for. I was a revolutionary in there. Nigga, fuck these COs, nigga. Fuck these high commissary prices, man. Put these grievances in. Lockdown. All right, since we don't lock down, hey, y'all, when they let us off lockdown, we're going to all go to commissary for two weeks straight. Get as much food as you can. After that, we ain't going to commissary for a month. I bet they going to come in this bitch and treat it with some respect. Guess what other, other detainees said? No, you tripping, G. Nigga, we don't go to commissary, nigga. What that's going to do? Okay, just don't go and see. Because I understood the jail want to make money. So, nigga, of course, they treat us like prisoners. So, if we just prisoners, nigga, you're going to feel like you ain't got no say-so. But how about we stop spending money with them? I bet you they going to come talk to us. Then, that's waking niggas up then. That's revolutionary right there. And when they listen to me, what happened? We ain't go to commissary for like two weeks. We went two weeks straight. I'm showing you at the lowest level, even in jail, when I had nothing but myself and my soul, I was this individual. That's my purpose for saying this now. Put me anywhere on God's green earth, nigga. I'm going to enlighten and inform and increase the frequency. I don't care where you put me at. It ain't nowhere I can't go to the now that I ain't already been. Including the astros. You can't say death, nigga. I came from death. See what I'm saying? I came from what they call death. I was in the astros first. Then I came here. Why motherfuckers scared to leave here because they don't know what's next? You forgot. We was there first. Then you came here. You forgot that, though. That's how they take the, your power from you. See? Bleach your soul of his memories. You feel me? Niggas worried about, hey man, what's gonna happen after I leave here? Did you forget that you was there before you got here? <laughs> Nigga, I just got here. When I went, 86? Nigga, that ain't that long ago. So where was I at in 85, 84, 83, 70, 60s, 50s, 40s, 20s, 30s? Where was I at? I was in that place that they taught you was death. That's where I was at. And that's where you was at too before you got here. And when you leave here, you're going to go there and keep going other places. But the point I'm making is, you can place Rashad Jamal anywhere, man. And I'm going to be the same soul. I'm going to enlighten. I'm going to inform. I will never lose. And I'll never back down. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm saying this to the government right now watching me. Because y'all some bitches. That's how I feel. And, and I know I can't never say that to y'all face. So social media is the only place where I can really say, fuck y'all. And everything y'all stand for. G. Like it's that personal with me. And I just want all y'all. Because we ain't even opened it up yet. We ain't got to her. This this. You know what I'm saying? This the open. You know what I'm saying? This is pre-class, nigga. We vibing for the bell ring around this bitch right now. Y'all know what we vibe for the bell ring. You know it's real when I ain't gotta hit the bowl. You heard the bowl vibrating now. The bowl feel me like I feel you, God. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that to say this, y'all. The oppressors that we fight and we fight them in the astral realms. It ain't just we fight. We just not fighting these bitches here, man. We fought them before you got here. You was fighting them. And then you got here and they made you forget you was fighting them. And then you leave and you back to fighting them. Because when you hear they make you think that they don't even exist and that you got to fight me. Or somebody else with carbon in their skin that look like you. 